Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Another Wimbledon is in the books and once again, Novak Djokovic is a Wimbledon champion. The 35-year-old Serb stretched his Wimbledon winning streak to 28 by defeating Nick Kyrgios in four sets in Sunday's final. And by doing so, he became the fourth man in open era history to have won four titles in succession. Novak joins legends Bjorn Borg, Pete Sampras, and Roger Federer on that lofty list. And as the dust settled on center court, we wondered if one day we might be saying Djokovic is the greatest male grass court player of all time. Here's the caveat. As far as the ultimate grass goat goes, we think Martina Navratilova and her nine Wimbledon singles titles, plus 120 wins and 11 other titles across doubles and mixed, have that locked up for now, but we'll leave the women for another discussion. Now back to the men. As of now, Novak Djokovic is one shy of Roger Federer on the all-time Wimbledon men's singles title list with seven. He stands tied with his idol, Pete Sampras, and British legend, William Renshaw. At 35 and showing no signs of slowing down, is it really far-fetched to imagine Nole winning two more titles at Wimbledon? And if he does, how will we view his grass court legacy then? It's difficult to predict the future, certainly, but given that Djokovic has proven to be better than any other man at winning majors beyond the age of 30, we think he's got a really good shot to at least tie Federer on the all-time list. In the meantime, Djokovic just keeps getting better at Wimbledon. The Serb has won his last seven matches against top 10 opponents at SW19, which include three critical triumphs over Federer in finals in 2014, 15, and again in 2019. Surely we'd be looking at things differently if Djokovic had lost any of those three finals. If you're scoring at home, Djokovic owns a 3-1 and one lifetime edge over Federer at Wimbledon. Nole lost to the Swiss in their first meeting in the semis back in 2012. Federer is 19-7 and seven against the top 10 and once had a 10-match winning streak against the top 10 at Wimbledon. The Swiss is 105-14 and 14 overall at Wimbledon and still stands as the only man with over 100 wins at the championships. Also, Federer's work away from the Wimbledon grass bolsters his legacy on the surface. He owns a breathtaking 192-29 and 29 overall record on grass with 19 titles. Djokovic is 119 and 18 with eight titles, a clearly inferior record due to the Serbs decision to play Wimbledon without any warm-up tournaments on grass so often. Pete Sampras was 101 and 20 on grass with 10 titles in case you're wondering. So will this lack of titles and wins hurt Nole's grass court legacy? It certainly doesn't help. Djokovic is 86 and 10 at the All England Club and has won more matches at Wimbledon than any other slam. Last week, the Serb became the only player in history to own at least 80 wins at all four of the Grand Slams. It shows incredible versatility, and it also shows that Djokovic is among the best grass court players in the history of tennis. But is he the best? Not yet, but one day, maybe. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time.